Welcome guys, my name is Danny, this is TechRage, and answer me this, wouldn't you want a program that unifies all of your Linux games, whether it's a game that's dependent on Steam, uh, that runs through an emulator, or that even runs natively on Linux? Wouldn't you want one that organizes all of them together in one application? Now, answer me this again. Wouldn't it be cool if it was open source? Well, I got your answer today, guys, because Lutris, Lutris is an open gaming platform, which works pretty good. And uh, I've been using it for three weeks now, and um, I'll have to say something but good things about it. So we'll go straight into this right now. And uh, actually, I lied, because before I go straight into this, I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for all the viewers, for the new subscribers, for the recurring viewers um the channel has been growing since i started this year and i'm very thankful and um i'm really hoping that 2016 was good for everyone i know it's been hard on some and um yeah i just hope 2017 turns out to be better for everyone and i wish every single one of you from whatever part of the world you're from have a wonderful new year uh, first of all, Happy New Year's Eve in the time of making this video. And uh, yeah, I wish you great luck, great success, and hope everyone has good health. So, but yeah, I guess just want to say thank you. Alright, so that's enough of that. Let's close that. And, oh, let's not go into that just yet. So, this is the page of the website and by the way I'll be leaving the links down below within the description of the page on where to download Lutris as well as the github page because this is another episode of the open source alternative so all github links will be within the description and if you're a fan of open source feel free to check out my other videos as well um, yeah and let, let me know if I if I don't happen to follow that routine you know I'll, I always want to make sure that I leave those links down below but uh, yeah just so I can have it convenient for you guys <coughs> and sorry if I can't be loud but it's four o'clock in the morning on New Year's Eve so yeah so um, on their page it says Lutris is an open gaming platform for Linux it helps you install and manage your games in a unified interface. Our goal is to support every game which runs on Linux, from native to Windows games, via Wine to emulate and browser games. <clears throat> I should really put on my glasses. Yeah, guys, so that's exactly what this is. So I have it here already open. And guys I have to say it's a really cool neat application. And that's exactly as it says. It just organizes all your games. So it doesn't matter where it's from, right? What what kind of game it is, it'll have it here for the most part, nicely organized within the Lutris application. So we'll start off guys here. On the left side you'll see a bunch of categories under the all runners. Uh, now what this is just a list of all of the the applications like Steam or um, any other emulator, um, yeah, not just the uh, of those different type of applications that certain games are required are required to run through or on rather. Um, and there's even a category for native games that run on Linux, so. You can import those games here manually yourself, which I've done here for Punity. And uh, yeah, it's another cool thing, is if uh, if there is no, you know, um, if it doesn't run, you know, on any other application, then you can import those game manually from the very f folder that it's located in. So if it's located elsewhere on a separate hard drive, uh, to importing your own thumbnail, changing the name. And uh, as well as any other settings as well. So you see here, you have browser here, and it'll list all the browser applications or browser-based applications rather. 
So if you have Chrome, you'll have a bunch of Chrome games here. Um, so we'll go down here. Now this is Dolphin, which is a Wii and GameCube emulator. And I currently have one game installed through, well, that runs on Dolphin, which is the Super Smash Brothers Melee game. Really awesome. That's definitely, that's my childhood right there. I played that game until the disc completely was scratched everywhere and it could not be read. There was not one shiny part of that disc at all. <laughs> so I definitely had my, my fun with it. So, um, hey, second best option is just run it through an emulator, which I've done here. Now, down below here, like I said, this is... Uh, the Linux categories, so these are games that run natively on Linux. Now, since um, it runs natively on Linux, uh, it won't be able to pick up any thumbnail for it or anything of the sort, any information that it needs for it to generate such information. So, yeah, it'll just have the Lutris icon here instead. Now, lastly, the Steam category here. Now, it just picked everything up automatically. So um yeah wherever my steam games are located um it detected that through the steam application and uh, voila it just picked those up here and um any future games that you install through steam automatically will show up here as well so that's another cool thing too and uh, yeah it works really well guys um really neat and um yeah this uh this thing goes even further as to um showing you where to download games so actually before I go into that because look, there are a lot of games that this shows on their website um, <coughs> like games from oh, that support a wide variety of platforms that are supported on Linux like for instance uh, a lot of old Atari games to PlayStation 2, 3, you name it there, uh, native games that run on Linux whatever it may be right, you can access all these games here on the Lutris website nicely organized and categorized so I highly suggest you guys check that out and even use that as a reference for games now going right next to that you'll have managed runners now this is what I wanted to get into before going into here because under managed runners if I click here now you can install all these different emulators directly through Lutris so it makes it even more convenient for everyone so you don't have to go through the process of having to find out where to download it, installing the PPA or whatever it may be. You can just install it through here. And uh, yeah, it'll go through the process of having it install. So currently I have it, have Lutris installed on my Ubuntu 16.04 LTS version. So it'll install the .deb version. And um, yeah, yeah, guys. So you have options like, like I said, like browser options. You see Atari 800 games. Um, go all the way down here. You have PlayStation 2, well, PlayStation and then PlayStation 2 emulators. Yeah, just a wide variety. So it's really neat. This game, this application, just you know has everything bundled up, so it's more convenient for everyone. Uh, yeah, and I just think it's really cool. Everything works really well. And uh, for my last step, I'll show you guys how to launch that or launch a game, but I'll show you that later on. So now, if I were to click here under Browse Games, see it'll open up within their homepage. And like I said, it has everything nicely organized depending on which platform it uses. Or you know, if it's an emulator, uh, or even if it runs independently on Linux. So you see, click Linux here, and voila! Now everything here. You can download yourself. So, yeah, and I was on Amnesia because I was thinking, should I try it or not? I'm a wuss when it comes to scary, when it comes to horror games. But um, I've always had a throw for it. But I, uh, I can't play these games alone. I really can. I'm, I don't know. I suck. <laughs> so you see, you see, once you click here, now you have different options. Now you have the option to install it, but through the Steam application click here and now it'll install it through the GOG.com website right and this will be the um, the 
so this is the native version for Linux there's also the 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 Sura version which I'm not really sure what exactly that is and just a brief description of the application I mean of the game so it's very neat so I really suggest you guys you know browse to this website they have a wide variety of games right which I'm definitely gonna be checking out for the next coming days so that's for that and um, what else here yep you see you can click on any one of these games here and then click play game or just double click you can there's the stop yeah you can stop the game from playing by clicking here and uh, yeah another cool thing too like I said is that you can manually import your game so the way you do this is by clicking here in whichever category now the first thing you have to do is select which runner so if you have uh, certain runners already installed like these here I've installed I can just select from here say dolphin right I can put in the titled page I mean of the page of the game here and uh, oh, say for instance you don't have that runner installed already on Lutris then just click install runners and then it'll pop up this again and then you just install it so if I go to game options now this will uh, this will change depending on which runner you have selected here so now it says ISO file so this would be the file um, the file of the game within a ISO format right that it needs in order for it to run through the dolphin emulator so I see you got runner options custom executable for the runner uh, if modify these options uh, supersede the same options from the base runner configuration so you definitely want to you know be careful of what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing I suggest just leaving it alone then also you have system options so you can choose whether to run it through the terminal or not which application or which shell and uh, yeah any other options here that's for that and uh, yeah once you do that it'll be here right now my game if I tried launching it here it actually won't work because I was uh, fussing around with well messing around with all my folders and organizing them so this won't work I have to reconnect uh, the new folder through the settings so go there right click configure and then you can start navigating for that through here main game folder I can browse there and just search for it so we'll go to steam and i'm gonna launch rocket league but before i go into this guys i just want to make sure that we're on the same page here and for anyone that has a question or that's not really quite sure what lutris is right it's like what it stated in the beginning um it's an application that organizes all of your games right that that come from a variety of different areas such as steam um emulators Dolph browsers whatever what it does is that it organizes them within the Lutris application it is not it is not a steam replacement or any other replacement for that matter um, it just organizes them in a neat way for you to have your game set there but um, it'll still launch through whatever dependent application it needs so if it needs dolphin emulator like my Super Smash Brothers game. So, uh, if I double click it now, it will launch still through Dolphin, even though it's on Lutris. Lutris is just presenting it. So, if I double click here, this should work. Although I was messing around with my folders, so you see here, play Super Smash Brothers Melee. I'm not sure if it'll run. I guess, like I said, I was messing around with my stuff. So, we shall see. So, I'm right clicking it. Play. It says it's playing, but I don't believe you. No, no, no. Error. Recent shared library. Yep. See, that's it. So I was messing around with it, so it's not gonna run. So I'm gonna stop it. Game has quit. Okay. But now let's go to Steam. Now Rocket League. Double click right now. 
playing Rocket League. You see it showed up the loading bar. You see it now it's launching through Steam still. Yes, that was my username. And do not add me, please. Um, you know, I feel like I don't really have to say that to my audience, but there are those few. There are those few guys, so. Yeah, just saying. And yeah, it's working just fine. See, I can click here and start gaming away. So. Oh, by the way, this has been my game. I've been playing this for a couple of days now. Freaking love it. Oh my gosh, I even have it on my PS4. This game is awesome. Alright guys, so that's really it. Have any questions? Um, leave them down below. Like I said before, I'm leaving the GitHub link as well as the page where you can download Lutris down below as well. And yeah, like I said, if you have if you like open source applications and you want to know more um, or other applications, feel free to check out my other videos, guys. Um, I do a wide variety of videos. I'm gonna try to do different, more. Um, different open source applications whether they run on Android to running on Linux to raising to being browser extensions you name it I'll be doing those and also have future videos that uh, just work on a variety of topics you know really um, just any topic I, I like any topic that I find interesting uh, which um, will mainly be Linux Linux customization Android uh, Android customization Android apps Linux apps open source apps for Linux Android uh, yeah, just honestly, just a wide variety going to gaming, more uh, websites, useful websites, useful extensions, you name it. I've been doing that here. And also, I won't be focusing just on open source. Now, open source definitely is my thing, and um, I am definitely a, a supporter of it, but um, and also support of Linux. But also, I want to demonstrate other applications as well that aren't open source. But uh, yeah, like I said, the whole point of this channel is just to spread knowledge to let people know that there are other options out there and that uh yeah just you know overall spreading you know um more knowledge com when it coming to linux so yeah guys i really hope you like this video comment down below subscribe like and i will see you in the next video